what's going on guys it's me Julana fan 2016 here and today we have the Gemini Jets December 2023 releases for you guys I'm excited to see what Gemini Jets has in store for the December 2023 releases to cap off 2023 and hopefully their release set is good so yeah quite an interesting because like NG models did release their December 2023 releases this week so now we're getting a fair share of Gemini Jets right here so as you can see their future releases were very interesting so yeah we got a couple of future releases already there so we got like Alleghenies um a lot of stuff that has been like out so I'm eager to see what that is uh the 757200 Delta Widgets are also very cool and the 764 Evil Blue very nice and Sky Team and yeah a lot of 764 releases as well as, as the retro planes from American under 1821s and Nevada 1 the new one on 1 is still there so yeah do want to expi expedite this a little bit quick so we can check it out. So as you can see, everything is still available. Let's have a look at that TW TWA M80. Looking absolutely very nice. So yeah, here it is. Looks very nice. Okay, that's enough of that. Here's the Mule 1. Once again, I will be expediting all these so I can get into the releases right away. So here's the Mule 1. Looking very nice. And the Delta 1819 and 1 scale also looks very nice as well. So as you can see, here it is. Delta 1819. Looking very nice as well. So yeah, I'm just super excited to see what the November releases has to offer so without being said let me just scroll down and we have it okay we have Gemini Aces right there and here we go we have our December 2023 releases so I'm just super excited to see what NG has in store for this month to round off 2023 and hopefully this will this release set is good after Gemini Jets celebrates their 25th anniversary so can Gemini Jets make it for December 2023 to round off their 25th anniversary year Let's find out as we begin with our first model. So let's see what our first model is. So let's begin on downwards. Let's see what we have first. All right, here we go. So first up we have is the Atlas Air Boeing 747-Shape Freighter, the final Boeing 747-400. So yeah, November 863 Golf Tango. Gemini Jets is competing against NG on this because they also released... NG also released the last 747 on their December 2023 release as well. But really quite interesting of course like i think the jc 748 mold is very nice i think they use the jc 747 that shape mold from them from gemini jets so it's one or the other it might be ng or it might be gemini but either way it's your forte but either way quite interesting that gemini jets is going against ng models on making the last 747 so really nice to see right there so once again that aircraft is registered november 863 golf tango and the price is 7095 msrp and we should have, hopefully we have an interactive series as well, so do we? Actually, no, but rather we have a Delta Airbus A320, so quite interesting right here. So, nice re-release of the Delta A320. Of course, it's almost like that for NG because like, well, almost similar to what they did for the AC-19 because they released the AC-19 in 1.400 scale in November last month. Now they're releasing the A320 this month before December, so... Yeah, really interesting to see right there. It was kind of like what NG did. I think NG released the Delta AC-19 in their October releases, and then like an AC-20 on their November releases. I think that's what happened right there. So quite an interesting turn of events right here. So really interesting to see right there. And this aircraft is registered November 376 November Whiskey, and the price is $52.95. Look at absolutely very interesting right there. So moving on downwards, let me get a sip of water first. Alright, so let's see what we have next in store. So as we scroll on downwards, next up we should have is a Jet 2 Holidays Airbus A221 Neo. So, kind of like the Allegiant knockoff almost. So, yeah, here it is the A221 Neo from Jet 2 Holidays. Of course, they are like the UK Allegiant, so it almost looks like uh, Allegiant livery. But once again, this airline is based out of the UK. Not sure if this is like a low cost airline or something, but yeah, it's a very nice airline overall. Package Holidays, you can something something like it's, the winglet is blocking it and it says jet to holidays um treat i think i think that's what it says maybe i'm not sure but hey that's what it is and yeah that's the jet to holidays right there so this aircraft is registered gulf sierra uniform november bravo and the price is 52.95 same goes with the delta a320 all right so now moving on next up we should have is 
Whoa, yes. How about this right here? We have the Porter Ember E195E2 coming in in one for on the scale. So I think this is another new mold from Gemini Jets. They're releasing their first ever 1 for 100 Ember E195E2. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? So really nice to see right there. They did release the E195E2 last month in 1 to 100 scale. Now this is coming in in 1 for 100 scale. So quite the interesting ton of events right there. I know Porter is going to be flying to San Francisco soon, so I might try to pick this up, but not now. But yet again, I'm going to be starting college next month, so I think I'd rather focus on my financing stuff. But hopefully I can purchase this in the long run, because it's going to be a very cool model for my collection and for others' collection. For other people's collection. So this aircraft is registered Charlie Golf Kilo Quebec Lima, and the price is $15.95 this time. So quite... Some interesting stuff right there so yeah i'm just super excited to hopefully catch or hopefully buy that porter e195 e195 e2 excuse me all right so now we move on downwards next up we should have is wow we're going all retro right here southwest boeing 727 200 in the desert livery so yeah quite the interesting stuff right here we're getting some retro department stuff like retro miles now with the Southwest 737, not 737, I kind of got used to Southwest 737s, but they operated in 727s, and they were leased, they were leased from Brandon International, so it does have like the old Southwest logo, which is very interesting, and yeah, the Southwest tiles on this 727 is like very interesting, rather than just the usual Southwest tiles we have today, so very interesting stuff right there and it should be a very nice model for the retro collectors so this aircraft is registered november 406 bravo november and the bravo november is the registration prefix for brand international airways so quite the interesting stuff right there and currently going on there's some kind of construction nearby home i kind of like situated in my car right now so i haven't even filmed it like i haven't filmed in my car in a while and yeah just ignore that but i think like with like the what is that oh yeah i think the background reducer background noise reducer would do the trick so yeah that's what it is right there all right so okay so next up next up we should have is as we scroll down let's see what our next one is we have ooh spirit urbus at21 neo that's an interesting interesting touch so yeah, Spirit's Airbus AC21 Neo comes in in Gemini Jets. Unfortunately, the NG version is already sold out, so that's quite unfortunate. But you can get your hands on the Spirit Gemini version, since like that's gonna be around for Gemini Jets' uh, was that Gemini Jets' warehouse for quite a longer period or a longer duration. So yeah, you can get your hands on it. I'm not sure if I want to try to get a Spirit AC21 Neo because I don't know if those things fly to Sacramento or they're just limited to like a certain route for the AC21 Neo. But other than that, it should be a very nice model. And yeah, very nice right there. So this aircraft is registered November 702, November Kilo. I think I forgot to mention the price for the Southwest, but they're just basically the same as for like every mainline airplane right there. So yeah, quite interesting right there and some interesting stuff. Next up, downwards, we should have is who United Airlines Boeing 777-300ER. Very nice. So they released this last month as well, and they, they did release the registration, and they also did in September 2022, November 2352 uniform. And yes, I did see this aircraft at San Francisco International Airport back in February 2023. So it's really nice catch right there, but. I would rather pass on this one since I have the NG version of this registration already. So yeah, very nice right there. But it should be a nice model for some of the US collectors if they miss out on the NG version in September 2022. So really nice right there. And yeah, the price is $63.95. And hopefully we do have a flaps down version of this aircraft right there. So who actually like the 1 200 scale? Well, the flat well speaking of flaps down. The United 777-300ER flaps down is already sold out. That's from the 1-200 side, so quite interesting right there. So, yeah, I was not expecting the flaps down to be, like, sold out, but I was I first thought the flaps up was going to be sold out first, but yeah, it is what it is. Alright, so now we move on downwards. I hope we have a flaps down, do we? Yes, we do. So we have a flaps down right there. And it's quite different. I'm not sure if I want to try to get a flaps down though. Or if ever like NG does like a 787-9 flaps down from United. Then I'll probably pick that up. But it's kind of like tempting. I might get it. I might not. But who knows. 
but yeah the main difference of the flaps down is just the flaps down and the price itself so this is now like a 64 $65. that's now a four dollar price increase with 67.95 coming in as a total so yeah and next up we have a ooh nice ups 747-a I was like scrolling a little bit too quick, but we do have the UPS Boeing 747-8 coming in one point of scale. So really nice right there. Of course, like I think it's been a while. Oh yeah, the Atlas Air. That's but yeah, really nice to see UPS 747-8 on Gemini Jets' counterparts. And yeah, I'm eager to see if NG were to like do a take on this one because like it's quite interesting. And of course, NG has their 748 mold. And yeah, up and running. So yeah, it's very nice to have a UPS M48 in the Gemini Jets counterpart. Gemini Jets stuff. So this aircraft is registered in November 6090. What am I saying? Uh, November 6090 Uniform Papa is the registration of this aircraft, and the price is 7095. So yeah, it's the same for the 74A from Atlas. So yeah, very nice right there. And that shall do it. Actually, we do have another. Ooh, how about this? Uh, I think I saw another airline. Uh, UT Air Boeing 737-800, so it's a Russian airline, and it's just a plain livery, that's all I can really say, it's just like a plain white livery, you just only got one color, and that's basically it, um, yeah, but yeah, that's, that's just a livery for UT Air, so not gonna complain about that, but it should be very interesting for the Russian collectors, so this aircraft is registered, Romeo Alpha 73090. And I think we have another aircraft right there. Let's see what that is. We have a Virgin Australia Boeing 737 MAX 8. So, I think Angie did this already. I think it was from their July 2023 releases. So, now Gemini Jets is going to do their take on the Virgin Australia 737 MAX 8. So, very nice to see right there. And it's going to be a nice model for the Australian collectors right there. So, this aircraft is registered Victor Hotel. 8 1 Alpha and the price is basically your same price for every narrow body airplane. So yeah, that is like the one for hundred like the one for hundred counterpart for all these. So yeah, a nice varieties. I do like on how they were competing against NG for that last 747 right there. I like on how they released the Delta A220. I love the Porter E195 E2, the first one for like I think this is the first one for hundred E195 E2 Gemini Jets has ever released. So that's very nice right there. And those two United Airlines, 777s, flaps down, flaps up, looks very nice. UPS 747-8, a nice addition to that 1400 release set. So very nice right there. Alright, so now we move on. Do we have... Okay, so we have a 1200. So I'm eager to see what 1200 has to offer. Hopefully it's a good release set in 1400. So yeah. Oh, that aircraft might be coming. Because like I saw on the future release set, some of those models were actually removed. So let's see what we have first. Alright, so here we go, 1 to 100 scale. So let's see what we have first. We first have is. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I'm on board for. The Delta Connection Ember E175 coming in at 1 to 100 scale. Yes, sir! Please! Yes! Wow, nice stuff right there from Gemini Jets. Yes! Wow, oh my god. Thank you, Gemini Jets, for releasing this model in 1 200 scale. They did release this model in the outstanding 1 400 releases for October 2023 releases. And yeah, it's finally coming in in 1 200 scale now for December 2023. So I'm just super excited to pick this up. Yes, I'm actually going to be picking this up because I want a Delta 1 200 D175 in my collection. And speaking of that, just this week, Sunday was my Delta E-175 flight from Seattle to Sacramento, so this was very fitting. And yeah, I was on a different registration. I was on November 272 Sierra Yankee, Sierra Yankee this time, so I've flown on 270 Sierra Yankee, 272... What am I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, so, the Delta E-175 that I've flown on was November 270 Sierra Yankee, November 272 Sierra Yankee, which is my recent flight from December 10th. I've flown on November 275 Sierra Yankee, the sister ship of this aircraft from Sacramento to LAX. And I've flown on November 280 Sierra Yankee. So, yes, I'll be picking this up. It's a very special aircraft, and I do have like two Delta 175s and one for under scale by Gemini Jet. So, I'm just super excited to pick this up as well. And it should be a very nice model for my collection. And yes, it's going to be another awesome model for all the US collectors. 
thank you Gemini Jets for finally releasing this model in 1 to 1 scale now. So that should complete the Del Delta 175 trial from all that. So yeah, I'm just super happy and yeah, no need to explain more. It's finally here. We are here ladies and gentlemen. The Delta 175 in 1 to 100 scale is finally coming. So I'm just super happy to see this from Gemini Jet right there. So once again, thank you so much to Todd Michaels and Elliot for all this like Delta 175 stuff because we've been wanting this model for all of our collection. So yeah, really nice to see right there. And it's going to be a very beautiful aircraft for my collection and many years to come. So yeah, excited to pick that up. And once again, this aircraft is registered November 274 Sierra Yankee. Of course, I did see this aircraft back in Sacramento back in like February 2022. And yeah, it was a nice shot. Hopefully I can see her again at some point. But yeah, it'll be nice to catch November 274 Sierra Yankee again. So very nice right there. And of course, the price is 95 $95.95, which honestly the discount price from Panafox would deal would be okay, so I'll get that. And yeah, really glad to see this from Gemini Jets right there. Alright, so now we move on downwards. Let's see what we have next. Next up we should have is an Emirates Airbus A350-900 coming in in 1 200 scale next. So I think they also released this in uh yeah, I think it was back in November. So quite the interesting stuff right there. Now as for the 1 400 counterpart, that was already hinted out already because like, I think it was coming from Sam Chewy's video that they were showing like the productions of like the Airbus A250-900 from Emirates in 1 400 scale and yeah, the Sam Chewy also showed like all these like various clips of like the Emirates A250 being made so that was coming in in 1 200 scale so yeah that's very nice so nice that we're getting a 1 200 counterpart. 1-200 counterpart, excuse me, for the Emirates A350 right there. Although their A350 has not been delivered yet to Emirates as of late. So this aircraft is registered Alpha 6 Echo Echo X-ray Alpha. And the price is $168.95, which is quite the interesting price range. And yeah, moving on downwards, we have, wow, Global X Airbus A320. I don't think... Gemini Jets or and I'm not sure if any other model collector oh it's I think this is like in the full flavor global like full flavor global X movie so very cool right there so here it is right there the global X A320 coming in in 1 to 100 scale so quite some interesting stuff right there and yeah I think the global X movie looks very nice and I do like the various like it's almost like a full body so you like it starts from here and then it have like a swoop over there and then this is where like the full Louis would come in so that's very nice that's a very nice Louis from Global X and yeah I think this might be the first Global X release from like a, in model form maybe not sure but it might be so this aircraft is registered November 276 Golf X-ray it's a really nice stuff right there moving on downwards next up we should have let's see what we have KLM City Hopper Ember E195 E195 E2 very nice so Gemini just still kicking in with their Ember E195 E2 molded 1 to 100 scale as they did re they released Porter in 1 to 100 scale last month now we're getting this in the KLM City Hopper livery so it might be released next month in 1 to 100 scale but yeah we'll just have to wait and see but nice to see this from Gemini just right there and yeah, I think the, well, I seen the production image of the E195 E2, and it looks very nice. So yeah, it's great for Gemini Jets on that. And this aircraft is registered Papa Hotel, November X-Ray Echo. And the price is $98.95, so very nice right there. I think I forgot to mention, I think the, I think I may have not said the price for the Global X, but the price is $104.95. So that's that right there. Alright, so now moving on downwards, next up we should have is a Latanza Cargo McDonald's Douglas MD-11F and it has the Farewell MD-11 title. So, Lufthansa, basically what that is, Lufthansa was the last European operator of the MD-11, so yeah, they added a very special sticker to commemorate the retirement of their FedEx MD, not FedEx, Lufthansa MD-11 fleet. Yeah, it says thank you MD11 farewell and has a very nice heart. And what I also like about this like special scheme is they also have like the thank you with heart and Lufthansa cargo at the cargo door as well. So that's very that's very clever for Lufthansa to do right there. So this is an interactive series mode, so that's very exciting right there. And this aircraft is registered Delta Alpha Lima Charlie Charlie, and the price is $176.95. 
Alright, so now we move on downwards. But that's a very nice model for all the European fans who love the MD11, especially the Lufthansa MD11. So now we move on downwards. Next up, we should have is a Qatar Airways Boeing 737 Max 8. That's very nice. And yeah, coming in in one two hundred scale now, the Qatar Airways Boeing 737 Max 8. So here she is right there, looking absolutely very nice in the full flavor Qatar livery. So yeah, IG also released this in one four hundred scale in July. So I think July twenty twenty three. But hopefully we can see Gemini Jets release this in one four hundred scale next month or two months from now. So very nice to see right there. So this aircraft is registered Alpha Sem Alpha Seven, excuse me, Bravo Sierra Charlie, and this is their first 737 Max 8 in the fleet. Alright, and the price is the same price as that Global X plane. Alright, so now moving on downwards, let's see what we have next. Next up we have is, okay, a Boeing PA Poseidon from, like, PA, Posi PA Poseidon MRA1, MRL. Not sure what Air Force or is there kind of like Navy plane this is operated out of. Um, we have an image, a CGI image of the airplane. We do, so... Uh, yeah, is this like, let me try to zoom in, Royal Air Force, this is a Royal Air Force PA Poseidon, so this is by the Royal Air Force right there, so really nice to see, this is one to one scale, I think it's been a while since Gemini just has done a PA Poseidon model, like a model as of late, I think maybe the last, last time was either 2020 or 2021, they last did like a PA Poseidon mold in one to one scale, moreover in one to one scale also, but who knows when that model is going to be released, but really nice to see a Royal Air Force PA Poseidon making it in December. So this aircraft has a, well, serial number or registration, but this, the serial registration is Zulu Papa 806, and the price is just the same price as all the other suites in the airplane. Like, well, actually it's different. The price is $107.95, probably because there's like a lot of attendance in that aircraft. Alright, so next up, we have another model right there. We have United Airlines Boeing 787-10 Dreamliner. Looking very nice. So, as I pull her up, there is the CGI image. Looking very nice. So, yeah, really nice to see Gemini Jets doing this United 787-10. A nice re-release uh, re of this model right here. And, yeah, I think 2020 was either the last time they did that. So, really nice to see United Airlines on the 787-10 coming in in 1-200 scale. Looking absolutely very nice. So this aircraft is registered November 13014 and the price is $163.95. Alright, so I think that should be it. Is that going to be all? I think we have more. Let's see what we have next. And we have the flaps down counterpart for that aircraft right there. No need to explain too much. Same registration, just flaps down and that's basically it. But you have like a price change, so that's now $171.95. So yeah, that's that. And yeah, so yeah, very interesting stuff for the United planes right there. Moving on downwards, next up we should have is a U.S. Air Force Boeing 737-700, or just a, just a C-40B. Uh, U.S. Yeah, I think it's the U.S. Oh, actually, this is actually the. What is that? It's like it's almost like the presidential transport airplane, but you have like this like 737-C-40B. Which I think that transport government officials like Supreme Court justices or like representatives on the House or Supreme or Senate leaders. I think that's what this airplane is depicting right there. So yeah, really nice for Gemini just to release that. Hopefully we can see that in one point of scale soon and that should be a very nice model right there. So this aircraft is registered a hundred no no not one hundred. The price is not well the price is the same, but the registration is zero one zero zero four one. Alright, so now moving on, I think we should have another one, we should have is, hmm, a quite an interesting, is that like, I, do, I can't, Win Air, is that like the, it's a Win Air, it's a de Havilland Canada DH6-300 Twin Otter, uh, not sure what it's depicting, what it's named, I think it says Win Air, I think, but we do have this model right here, so really nice to see a Twin Otter coming in 1-200 scale for this month, so yeah. Uh, quite an interesting aircraft. I would like to fly on one, but hopefully soon. But I think that you won't see many of these in the U.S. So it might be a little bit, it might be limited to like Caribbean islands or like island countries around the world. So maybe you'll see this airplane right there. But I would like to fly on one in the future. 
So yeah, we have a Win Air Twin Otter, and this aircraft is registered Papa Juliet Whiskey India India. And the price for that aircraft is $36.95. And that shall do it. Actually, we have our Gemini GA release. So, Gemini GA release for this month. And let's see what that is. That is a Cessna 172. And it's just like a standard livery, I think. Very cool livery right here. Uh, not sure what, like, flight school is that or, like, what, like, badge is that. Like, badge for the flight school is that. But we have our Cessna 172 right there. November 4480 Romeo or November 4480 Oscar Romeo. It's either Zero Romeo or Oscar Romeo. I think that's just like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's like Zero Romeo, I think. But we have the Cessna 172 right there, looking very nice. And yeah, and the price is $76.95. So yeah, and that's gonna do it for the December 2022 releases from Gemini Jazz right there. So what a nice way to cap off 2022 and Gemini Jets' 25th anniversary with all these models right here, looking absolutely very nice. Most likely, well, for me, I don't think I might pick up anything for this month, but the Delta E-175, mm, yes. I would most likely pick this up because I know I've flown on this aircraft three times, and it's a very special aircraft for me because it is, well, actually three times. Uh, hang on, uh, I need to recall back. Okay, one, two, three, four times, actually. So, yeah, four times I've flown on a Delta E-175, so it should be a very nice model for my collection, and I'm really excited to get the 1-200 counterpart for the Delta E-175 after, like, being on that plane for, like, four times, but it should be a very nice model for my collection right there. Uh, the United Drupal 7300DR is very, very nice. It's a nice model for all the people who missed out on the Gemini Jets one, and yeah, it's... I mean, like, I would like to get it, but yet again, I do have this registration already. I already have the airplane. I have the NG version of this registration, so no need to buy because I already have it. I'm not sure, wanna, I'm not sure if I want to get the flaps down, though, because it should be very interesting right there. And, yeah, so, I mean, the Porter is very nice. The Porter model looks very nice right there. I might see if I could try to pick that up. I mean, like, I would like to, but yet again, I will have to, like stick with like financing on my college and all that but i would like to get it but that's on a future hold right now and yeah but as for the 1 200 there i like the variety right there the delta 175 is absolutely killer and yeah no need to elaborate too much right there but other than that i think i do want to rate this like do want to rate this final release set for 2020 for gemini jets and see how they perform so yeah, other than that, this is a very nice release set for Gemini Jets, and I do like what they did here for their efforts. So overall, with that Delta 175 and 120 scale, I think I'll say I'll top off the release set for Gemini Jets and 2023 with, uh, I would say, I mean, like, I like the varieties, but I think I'll give this release set a 97%, which is, like, very nice. I mean, not as bad. I mean, like, we didn't get much on, like, varieties, like, South America and then Africa stuff. But I do like the varieties of, like, what they have for 1200 and the Cessna 172. So, yeah. But other than that, it's a very awesome release set. And what a way to cap it off with Gemini Jets on their 25th anniversary right there. So, great work, Gemini Jets, on all those amazing releases you released for 2023. And I'm looking forward to see what 2024 has to offer from them later down the road for 2024 for the January January 2024 releases from Gemini Jets and hopefully the next year's releases are gonna be good as what 2023 has so yeah that's it for today's video so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you like comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video like this anytime soon so that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time anyways good night